Well, Wainai couple is dealing with the loss of their pup who escaped from their home and was hit on the road. Our Kristen Concilio spoke with them today and they're upset that their pet's body was discarded in a landfill. For Patricia Corpuz and Cole Smith, their puppy Mila was their whole world. She's a Velcro dog. It's very heartbreaking for us. Mila was hit by a car this week while the couple were working after getting loose in Waianae. They later found out her body was taken to the Waimanalo landfill by the State Department of Transportation. She wasn't wearing her collar and considered a stray. They just treated her like a bag of trash. They picked her up, they threw her in the landfill. We, we wouldn't even want to think about her being alive when they bagged her up and buried her in the landfill. We don't know if she was dead. I mean, we just, just hope and pray that it was quick. The couple say DOT workers did not scan Mila to see if she was microchipped. It just baffles me because I'm like, our, our puppy, like, she, there's no way somebody, like, with, with common sense, excuse me, like, would have thought she was a stray. Mila was like a child to the military couple. But now, like, Mr. I have to, like, she's gone for life, and I can't ever forgive myself for that. They've created a petition that has hundreds of signatures so far in hopes of changing rules so that pets are scanned and can be reunited with their families. We don't even know where she's buried at this point. We just wanted her body with us at least. She's an extension of our family. We wanted, we wanted that closure by taking her home. State Representative Darius Keela says he's asking DOT leaders to see if staff can be equipped with scanners. Unfortunately, right now, they don't have the equipment to actually scan some of these animals. And it just hurts the one time that we have the instance of a family trying to claim their animal. It just, it's not, it's not able to happen or occur. Because the couple hope no other family feels the same pain. I think it's just also laziness on their behalf. Just, they just want to get it done so quickly. It's those five, 10 minutes of identifying the dog. I mean, it's going to affect them for five minutes, but me, me and my wife, we're going to deal with this for the rest of our lives. Kristen Concilio, Island News.